how can we improve against violence by employment, jobs? We've been having a great problems. What is your view on employment within our community? The curriculum with the books that we teach, we inspire kids. And to your point, they need employment. So I had gaps, okay, because I don't provide the jobs. So what I did was I got together with a group called ABC, which is Associated Builders and Contractors. They're national. And they provide internships for young kids and adults to get into the trades. Because they've taken the trades and the skill set out of the high schools and, and even the colleges for that matter. So, so trying to find partners or collaborative um, groups of people who will employ people who might not be employable who get out of prison, as an example. We just got into 26 Illinois state prisons with the Barrio folks, and they have a 50% recidivism issue. So when they get out, they need jobs. That's why I got together with Associated Builders and Contractors. So I would say finding partners who are willing to employ those who others might not want to employ. My other daughter, Abra, and Abra went to, um, uh, she sells tickets to sporting events. She, she's part of a group company, and like if you want soup, it's, it's not a sport ticket broker, but she's able to get uh, uh, tickets for the PGA, and they put together uh, for large companies like Mercedes and things like that, and different companies of that size, like a weekend at the Super Bowl, at all these tickets that nobody can find. Opera always has a lot of them. So that's interesting. Um, uh, next, Emmett, Emmett, could you tell us how you look at employment and helping in the community with it? Uh, off the top of my head, a couple of programs that I think would be instrumental in helping community residents out of the situation that they're in. The city just recently offered a program where they're selling houses and vacant lots for a dollar. And a lot of speculators, real estate speculators, are gobbling up these properties, which is fine. But one of the things that ought to happen is that when they come in to gut a house out and rehab it, they ought to hire residents right there in the community to do that. You don't need skilled labor to bring people in to tear down walls and, and haul away trash. Those are jobs that could go to people right in the community. And once the job is done, once the house is finished, don't charge an absorbent amount of rent where the people who used to live in that house could no longer afford to live there again. Mm. Food markets come into the community all the time. So when they come in, they don't have to bring a staff from across the city. They can hire all the people they need right in that community, at least a percentage of them. And that ought to be part of the basis for letting them come in, that they would make an agreement with the community that they would hire a number of community people who live in the adjacent area to work in the, in the food store. I think we need to be realistic about what kids and young people are going to do once they leave school, once they leave high school. Are we giving them an opportunity to be fair? Are we giving them a fair opportunity to make a living? Are we expecting them to, to live up to our expectations and dreams that just aren't realistic when there's a whole host of trades and professions out there that they can really be trained for? And if we're just training for the college track, we're just, I think we're missing the boat there and we're leaving a bunch of kids behind who could have a great life and keep themselves occupied. Back to my original statement of, you know, keep relates to moving, keep going, do something. Um, so that, that's my perspective on that. My daughter's home in Naperville, in fact, is just teaches the children, and they're all under the 10 and 12 years old. It doesn't take anybody about 12 years, below 12 years old children, neighborhood children, he gets in. The other guy is a 21-year-old football player, He's a 265-pound big guy, hmm. plays for Western Michigan football team. And he does the same thing at Kalamazoo, that's where he is and he does, and I encourage him. I and my wife do support them with monetarily whatever they need. And so we look at the other way, is the children in the sports arena. That's more of a fact, focus, and uh, hopefully we can continue that. Thank you.